Welcome to class, everybody. Boarding big school buses. Hey, welcome to class. May not feel like a step up. You two look good. To University of St. Thomas students. Welcome to the bus. Hello. But Professor Dr. Carol Brees knows better. On this fall day, the brand new communication and citizenship class, Kojo 111, some 130 students strong, is stepping out. By crossing one of society's great cultural divides. We want this group of students to get out into the world around them and realize that they are citizens just like anyone else, and they're actually quite similar. From Campus Comforts, a 20-minute trip down Lake Street to the Phillips neighborhood, rough streets, and recent home to a beacon, the college prep Catholic high school, Cristo Rey, for economically disadvantaged students. Thanks. Here, Kojo 111 students who are learning about communication's role in shaping human identity, community, and the common good, Sarah. will apply that through community-based learning in, of all places, a high school. Imagine us trying to teach a course in communication and citizenship, but thinking of ourselves as citizen communicators without ever getting out there and actually doing it. You're in row five in the center. Cristo Rey Assistant Principal Jeb Myers welcomes the visitors. But hopefully our students can be inspired by what those students have in terms of opportunity and such and strive to say, I can do that. First day, first impressions. We're here so we can get to know each other better. After one big huddle, the adventure begins as they break into small groups of strangers. Do you have any fears about the project? Strangers like St. Thomas Jr. Nadia Ba. I just want to do it right. It's exciting in a weird way. And freshman Ailey Meisner. Together with three high schoolers, they must build a team and help design a Cristo Rey newspaper. Okay. <laughs> Easy. All right. Throughout the fall, they meet eight times, building bonds. Um, I'm not decided if I want to be a cop, a lawyer, or a judge. And we can go for all of us. You so. can do all of it. Yeah. Dealing with differences. Don't stereotype us. I'm not stereotyping you. And Cristo Rey sophomore Morris Martinez admits this will be an education. I'm from uh, New York. I moved here two years ago, so this is kind of all new to me. So I um, can't really relate to them. Differences as vast as the valley that holds tiny Glenwood, Minnesota. Home to a couple thousand, including Morris's teammate. Pretty much everybody around here is Norwegian. Ailey Meisner, who grew up in this Scandinavian setting on Lake Minnewaska's stable shore and who's starting to see a bigger world. I look around and I see absolutely no diversity here. And so that's the major change. Um, I imagine what it would be like for some of those students in my group to come here and see this. Where are you right now? What are your ideas? Mid-November, Dr. Tom Connery, one of Kojo 111's four professors, checks on newspaper progress. We kind of got like an entertainment section going on. The good news is the group we're following is becoming a team, even in pitching their advice columnist. Susie. Ah. She's going to be anonymous. Yes. But I mean, not, you don't have somebody in mind already, or just Susie? I'm Susie. Susie. <laughs> <laughs> Susie right here. You're the advice guy? You've got some good ideas. Even Dr. Love over there in the corner, the advice columnist. I'm glad Morris volunteered himself. <laughs> Definitely, you know, gets us out there. We did good yeah. as a group. Yeah, good job. Differences giving way to that course goal, communication. There have been some really poignant moments of saying, hey, this is more than just a project that we need to get done. This is, a, this is a bit of a relationship. The moment targeted all semester arrives in early December. How about like, okay, you guys are introducing it. Time for this team to show its stuff. Our section of the newspaper. Yes, Morris said, our section. I'll be collecting your hard copies. You and the group, by choice, stands front and center as we. And then we have a movie review. Which is either pay $9 or wait for the DVD, which one is better? But what's best is overcoming those early differences. I'm thinking I feel good. <laughs> I'm thinking I pulled, or we pulled everything together. I think we did really good, actually. There you go. I think we got somewhere. Yep. Seeds planted in fall, blossoming in winter. The reason I'm so passionate about community-based learning is because 
it really speaks to our mission about acting wisely and and being responsible to the communities around us to like father de Sally says to be uh, in and of the community just before christmas cristo ray's community travels to saint thomas cristo ray we're gonna move this way please a chance to step into that world that future these students seek and a chance to celebrate the bonds of a newfound community. Let's draw a heart. <laughs> from New York to Glenwood, they're drawing inspiration from one another. Togetherness. Okay. Is that right? Togetherness? Togetherness? Yeah. And it's Morris who makes it memorable togetherness, giving Ailey that gift of common language, music. The lead track is human and just talks about being human and making connections. And so it was like perfect for this class. A class, an adventure in community based learning that for these students, ends too soon. Oh,